ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈസ് എ യൂണിഫോമിലി ചാർജഡ് കണ്ടക്റ്റിംഗ് സ്ഫിയർ ഓഫ് ടു പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫൈവ് മീറ്റർ ഇൻ ഡയമീറ്റർ ഹാസ് എ സർഫസ് ചാർജ് ഡെൻസിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് മൈക്രോ കൂളമ്പ് പെർ മീറ്റർ സ്ക്വയർ കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ദി ചാർജ് ഓൺ ദ സ്ഫിയർ ആൻഡ് ടോട്ടൽ ഇലക്ട്രിക് പ്ലസ് പാസിങ് ത്രൂ ദ സ്ഫിയർ ദിസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വാസ് ദർ ഇൻ ഡൽഹി ടു തൗസൻഡ് എയ്റ്റീൻ വി ക്യാൻ ആൻസർ നോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഈസി ടു ആൻസർ because we are using a simple equation that surface charge density here first we have to write what are the things given uh, diameter is given right so i wrote 2.5 meter so radius will be equal to half of it divided by 2 so is equal to 1.25 meter we can write next we can write the surface charge density that is you remember the symbol there are three symbol yeah lambda sigma rho linear charge density surface charge density volume charge density here surface charge density so sigma is equal to 100 micro coulomb per meter square this micro coulomb we will write in si unit format that is into 10 raised to minus 6 coulomb per meter square finish next we can write that existing equation which one you know sigma is equal to so using sigma is equal to q divided by a by cross multiplying you can write q is equal to sigma into a so sigma into a both values are given right one is given directly and one we have to calculate so q is equal to sigma sigma is the above 100 into 10 raised to minus 6 coulomb and area of a spherical body it will be 4 pi r square so 4 into pi into r square okay let me continue so 100 into that we can write as 10 square into 10 raised to minus 6 into 4 into pi value you know right 3.14 so 3.14 into r 1.25 square r square yeah 1.25 square so do 10 use the exponents rule 10 raised to 2 minus 6 will come into 4 into 3.14 will be 12.56 correct and the 1.25 do the squaring then you will get 1.562 or 1.625 okay simplify now multiplication of 12.56 into 1.5625 will be equal to 19.6 into 10 raised to minus 4 coulomb or you can write in standard form by keeping one digit then decimal so 1.96 into 10 raised to minus 3 coulomb finish that part now we come to the part 2 the part 2 is second question is there calculate the flux passing through the sphere so using our gauss's law equation i am going to write the expression here you know yeah gauss's law what is gauss's law gauss's law is phi is equal to 1 by epsilon 0 times the net charge enclosed so is equal to 1 by epsilon 0 times q here q is 1.96 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by epsilon 0 the standard value which will be given in the question paper first page so don't worry 8.85 into 10 raised to minus 12 so phi is equal to after dividing you will get it 2.2 into 10 raised to 8 newton meter square per coulomb okay students thank you i hope you understood the things if you have any question you can post it on the comment okay students thank you bye bye